US RQ-7 Shadow vs. Russia or LAN-10. In the ever-evolving landscape of military technology, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, have increasingly taken center stage. Two prominent examples, the US RQ-7 Shadow and Russia's Orlan 10, stand out for their unique capabilities and roles in modern warfare. This article provides a detailed comparison, exploring their design, capabilities, operations, and potential impact on the battlefield. Originating from the US military's desire to obtain a tactical UAV system for reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition, the RQ-7 Shadow came into existence. Manufactured by AAI Corporation, the Shadow has been in service since 2002 and has been employed in several operations, most notably in Iraq and Afghanistan. The RQ-7 is 11.2 feet long with a wingspan of 14 feet. It is powered by a single engine, enabling it to reach speeds up to 110 knots. With an endurance of up to 9 hours, it offers the military an extended surveillance capability. Primarily, the RQ-7 Shadow has been employed for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and target acquisition roles. Its advanced sensors, cameras, and communications equipment allow it to provide real-time data to commanders on the ground. Russia's Orlan-10 represents a tactical reconnaissance UAV, designed to operate closer to battlefields and deliver high-resolution imagery to commanders. It was introduced in 2010 and quickly became a mainstay in Russian military operations. Orlan-10 boasts a composite material structure, making it lightweight yet durable. It's larger than the Shadow, with a length of 13 feet and a wingspan of 18 feet. It operates at a lower speed, around 90 knots, but compensates with an impressive endurance of 16 hours. The Orlan-10 is multifunctional. While primarily used for surveillance and reconnaissance, it's also equipped for electronic warfare and signal intelligence. This versatility makes it invaluable in a variety of operational contexts. Used extensively during Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom, the Shadow played a pivotal role in reconnaissance missions. Its ability to provide real-time imagery has saved countless lives by identifying threats. Russia's engagement in Syria showcased the Orlan 10's capabilities. Its long endurance and versatile applications made it a favorite for the Russian forces. Notably, it's believed to have played a role in electronic warfare, disrupting enemy communications. Comparing Tactical Capabilities Both the RQ-7 Shadow and the Orlan-10 bring to the table a host of tactical capabilities that are indispensable to their respective armed forces. These capabilities range from surveillance and reconnaissance to more advanced roles like electronic warfare. The Orlan-10 notably outlasts the RQ-7 Shadow in terms of endurance. With its 16-hour flight capability, it allows for prolonged surveillance operations. This endurance becomes especially crucial in extended battles or when continuous intel is required over large swaths of territory. The RQ-7, though with lesser endurance, compensates with its quick deployment and speed. While both UAVs carry sophisticated surveillance equipment, the types and applications vary. The Shadow is equipped with electro-optical and infrared cameras. These sensors provide high-resolution imagery during both day and night operations, making it an asset for time-sensitive missions. The Orlan-10, on the other hand, can be equipped with a variety of payloads depending on its mission, which includes photographic and electronic equipment. The versatility of Orlan-10 makes it adaptable to a multitude of tasks. The launching and recovery mechanisms of both UAVs are testament to their adaptability. Being catapult-launched means quick deployment without the need for a runway. The Orlan-10 stands out in its recovery process. Its parachute and airbag system allow for recovery even in challenging terrains, providing the Russian forces with a distinct advantage in areas where conventional landing might be unfeasible. The RQ-7, with its traditional landing approach, requires a clearer and more predictable recovery zone. In the domain of UAVs, being inconspicuous is a strength. The RQ-7 Shadow, with its smaller size, offers a reduced radar footprint, making it harder to detect. The Orlan-10, despite being larger, boasts a composite structure that may offer some advantages in evading radar detection. Survivability isn't just about stealth, it's also about the UAV's capability to operate in contested environments, and here the Orlan-10's electronic warfare capabilities give it an edge. Impact on Modern Warfare The integration of UAVs like the RQ-7 Shadow and Orlan-10 has dramatically reshaped the contours of modern warfare. The real-time information relayed by these UAVs provides ground forces with a tactical advantage. It's not just about having an eye in the sky, it's about having actionable intelligence that can be utilized immediately. This information can dictate the pace of an operation, making UAVs invaluable assets. One of the principal advantages of UAVs is risk reduction. 
Traditional reconnaissance missions using manned aircraft expose pilots to significant risks, especially in hostile territories. UAVs, being unmanned, eliminate this risk. Even if they're shot down, the human cost is nil. UAVs are no longer just passive observers. As showcased by the Orlan 10, they have ventured into the realm of electronic warfare. Jamming enemy communications, intercepting signals, and even potentially deploying cyber attacks represent the future of UAV operations. The Shadow, while primarily a reconnaissance tool, might not be far behind as the US continues to evolve its UAV arsenal. The urban landscape is a challenging battleground. Dense buildings, civilian populations, and the complexity of city infrastructure make traditional warfare strategies less effective. UAVs can provide a unique perspective, helping forces navigate this complex environment. Their ability to hover, zoom in, and provide detailed imagery can aid in operations like hostage rescues, pinpoint strikes, and more. Conclusion In comparing the US RQ-7 Shadow and Russia's Orlan-10, it's evident that both UAVs offer unique strengths. While the Shadow excels in its reconnaissance role with advanced sensors, the Orlan-10's extended endurance and electronic warfare capabilities make it a formidable tool. The continuous evolution of such UAVs underscores their increasing significance in the theater of war, impacting strategies, and dictating the future of warfare. Until next time, take care.